What's up everyone? I'm Connor and you're watching No Passport Needed, where I'm making a dish from every single country in the world. Today, we're going to Nepal and making momo. Momo is a steamed dumpling, most notably from Nepal and Tibet. There are lots of different variations of momo filling, including buffalo, pork, chicken, as well as vegetarian options. Buffalo meat is actually the most popular and traditional momo filling, so we're going to try and get as close to that as we can with American bison meat. Bison and buffalo are both red meats that are leaner than beef, so we should be able to get quite close. Momo is frequently served with a dipping sauce, so today we're going to make a char. A char is a tomato and sesame based dipping sauce. Alright, let's get into it. To start, we'll make the dumpling dough by mixing four cups of flour with one and a half cups of water. Stir until it comes together and then mix by hand until you have a cohesive sticky ball. Cover and set aside for about an hour. While the dough sits, we'll start our achar by making a ginger paste. Peel a large piece of ginger with the back of a spoon and cut it into small pieces. Toss them into a small food processor or blender along with a tablespoon of coconut oil. Process until smooth, scraping down the sides as needed. Set aside for later use. Next, we'll make a similar paste out of garlic. Crush, peel, and mince about seven cloves of garlic. Once minced, add a large pinch of salt and scrape a small section of the garlic using the flat side of the knife. After a couple minutes of scraping, it should turn into a rough paste. Set the garlic paste aside while we start cooking the achar. Toast half a tablespoon of cumin seeds in a pan over medium heat for a minute until fragrant, making sure not to burn them. Remove from heat before adding a couple tablespoons of canola oil to a large pan along with a large can of peeled tomatoes, breaking up into smaller chunks with a spoon. Add the toasted cumin seeds as well as three tablespoons of tahini, one tablespoon chili paste, one tablespoon each of our garlic and ginger pastes, and half a tablespoon each of coriander and turmeric. Give it a mix, remember to season, and let it cook down for five to 10 minutes until the tomatoes have softened and the sauce has slightly thickened. Carefully spoon into the blender and blitz until smooth. Taste for seasoning and set aside until later. Onto our filling, cut and peel an onion before grating into a bowl, careful not to turn your hand into Swiss cheese. Word of warning, you will cry grating this onion whether you cut your hand or not. Here we have about one and a quarter pound ground bison meat. This is 10% fat for reference. Add that to a bowl along with our onion juice, half a tablespoon of turmeric, one tablespoon chili paste, two tablespoons each of our garlic and ginger pastes, and half a tablespoon of coriander. Mix by hand, add a tablespoon of salt and vegetable oil, and our filling is ready. To form our dumplings, turn the dough out onto a floured surface, slice off a hunk, and roll it into a tube. Cut off a little more than a tablespoon, think one to two gnocchi, and roll out into a flat round. We're aiming for thinner on the edges than in the middle. Be generous with flour here, or they'll stick to both the board and the rolling pin. I repeated here forming Momo with the rest of the dough before filling. I think I made a mistake by not filling them immediately, by using too little flour, and by stacking them on top of each other. Here's my pan of rolled out wrappers, which I began to fill with a tablespoon of our bison and amateurly fold and seal. And then, I saw they all stuck together into one large dough mass, unable to be peeled apart. Note to self, fill immediately after rolling. Live and learn. Ah. Screw it, we're going the fast route. A friend that makes Momo frequently suggested using wonton wrappers as a quick workaround. While the texture of these will be slightly different, it's similar to dry pasta compared to fresh pasta. It's still delicious in the end. So fill with about a tablespoon of bison, wet the edges, and fold in your preferred shape. Here I simply pulled all the corners together and pinched to seal. Or you could fold in half completely. But for my preferred shape, I cut circles out of the wrappers using a cocktail shaker and folded similar to a pot sticker. By folding in half like a taco, crimping one of the halves and pinching the crimp against the other flat side to seal it closed. Complete with the remainder of the dough, trying out a few shapes. 
To steam our Momo, pour boiling water into a pot high enough to submerge the very bottom of the steamer, but low enough that it doesn't bubble into the bottom basket. I cut some circles out of our parchment paper to steam our Momo on, otherwise it'll stick to the bamboo steamer. Steam for 10 minutes and bask in your beautiful Momo. There isn't much to do here for plating, so we're going to just arrange them in a circle around the achar and dig in. While other people's momo and dumplings may look prettier than mine, these were phenomenal in the end. The bison was really juicy and meaty without being too lean or gamey, the onion and ginger in the filling cut through the fat nicely, and the achar is insanely good. A nice bright tomato flavor with a nutty richness from the sesame. One of the best parts of this is you can freeze the uncooked momo. Just add a minute to the steaming time if they're frozen and you're good to go. Not surprisingly, the folded square shape, and whatever this is, didn't taste any different, but I think the texture was best from the round version. On that note, I'm gonna go scarf down the rest of this plate. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I had a ton of fun making the Momos, even if there were a few bumps along the way, they ended up being really delicious. Shout out to Sadeep and Claire for their tip on using the wonton wrappers and a couple other tricks on how to make the Momos. Not surprisingly, this was my first time making dumplings, so it was a great learning experience. If you wanna follow along and see where we go next, feel free to subscribe. See you in the next one.